Hey, hello and welcome. I am Andres Villalba. I am a sales engineer at Sencha. Today, I am going to be creating a simple example with the help of ChatGPT. Take in mind that for this, I have already created a simple application, one that comes from Sencha command, and I will be replacing this with my own example. So let's try it. What I'm going to do first, it's I'm going to ask ChatGPT to create the data. So basically, I'm going to say create JSON file with 10 registers and the following fields. I want to create something generic, so I'm just going to say an ID, a country. I don't want it to repeat, so I'm going to say a non-repeating country, a name that matches that country, a birth date between and uh, let's say 1970 and 2000, a number between, um, say, 200 and 300 with two decimal points, and finally, a uh, percentage. I'm just going to hit enter and let a chat GPT create everything. It might take a few minutes. Okay, now that it has been created, I will now create the uh, XJS store. So create an XJS store that loads the data from the previous uh, generated uh, JSON. And I hit enter and let ChatGPT work its magic. As you can see, it's creating all the fields it's even specifying the date format, and it's pretty much done. Now it's going to explain what this is all about. And now I want to create a grid with this information. OK, now that we have the store, I'm going to ask um, ChatGPT to create the actual grid. So define an xjs grid that shows data from the previous store. So as you can see, it is now creating this data. Take in mind that we may have to change a few things, but it's working quite good. And now, just for fun, but I will ask it to create a chart. Create an XJS pie chart using the name and percentage from the previous store. OK, now that it has finished, let's take everything that ChatGPT created for us and put it inside our project. OK, so the first thing I'm going to do is create the actual data. So I'm going to create a folder that I'm going to call data.json. And from our uh, ChatGPT, I'm just going to copy the JSON, paste it here. I'm going to beautify that code. Uh, here it is. OK, now I will create the store. There are a few things that we have to modify here. So I'm creating my store. And let's uh, go to ChatGPT and get the actual store. Copy code. There are a few things to notice here. The xdefine is using the my app name for my app, and that's not correct. When I created my own app, it was called app. Then it is saved inside the store folder, but right now it is called my store. So it has to match that name. This name is fine. I can change it. I can leave it like that. The other thing that we have to take in mind is that the actual URL is not data.json. It is saved inside the resources folder. So I have to type there resources slash data.json. One more thing to notice is that the data doesn't have a root key. And here it's trying to look for that property as data. So I'm just going to take it out so that it doesn't look for that property. OK, so far, this part was easy. Let's create a folder to put my uh, GPT examples in there. 
going to create a new class too. This one is going to be called uh, mygrid.js. And same deal, I'm going to go to ChatGPT and get that example from there. OK, here we have a little bit more things to change. First thing, the application name. Then where it is saved, app view examples. And here it says my grid view. Here I named it my grid. So I'm just going to change it to my grid view. This is fine. Now it's looking for my data store, which is over here. That's fine. However, it is a good idea to require that file. I'm going to say requires app store my store. OK, so far we're done with the actual code. What I'm going to do next is modify the menu. So I'm going to go to the main file and delete all the options from there, just keeping the, the main one. And here I'm going to link to the, my actual view. Apart from that, I need to require this file in the requires part of the uh, main file. So app view examples, my grid view. There's one more thing to take in mind. When I created this example, I didn't specify ChatGPT if I wanted the classic or the modern toolkit. So it did what it wanted, and it used the modern toolkit. And my application is in classic. So basically, I'm just going to change it by hand. Well, let's see. Maybe see if it works. And there it is. We have our data that comes from the JSON file that was created. If you remember, we also created a chart. So let's just create uh, my chart my pie chart .js. And once again, I'm going to copy that example from over here. Copy, paste. Make sure that it says define and not create. We're defining a class. So I'm just going to go back to main. I'm going to include that pie chart. And I'm going to add a new menu option. Let's make sure that it's in the exact uh, project um, folder structure. So let's see there. OK, now let's see if it works. And as you can see, we have the grid we created before. And now we also have the chart. So this is how easy it is to create a Sencha application just by using Sencha and using ChatGPT. I hope you enjoyed this simple example. And I hope we can create something a little bit more complex the next time.